All right, so this is going to be a hotel tour of the Quality Inn and Conference Center in Grand Island, Nebraska. So here we're coming into the front entry area. There's a parts car here. Gotta go around it. So this here is the lobby. Luggage cart there. So here is the lobby area of the hotel. This is the check-in desk area. On this side, facing this direction, there is a restaurant lounge and a couple other things that we'll go check out in a little while. So you come in, got your typical waiting area with a couple of couches. It's a pretty spacious area, actually. One thing definitely neat about this hotel that I know is unique to Quality Inns is the game room. It can lock, but um, I didn't uh, get the card to work. So I don't know if they lock this area at all. They got quite a few games. Pinball, looks like racing, maybe golf. That was a shooting game. And of course your claw machine. And this thingy here, and this is a neat thing to look at. This is a change, uh, change machine. So going over this way, the gift shop is closed, but it's another neat thing that I've never actually seen in any quality in. They've just got a lot of uh, novelty items here. Some of it looks pretty expensive, actually. So I'll go to the fitness center next. You can see in through the windows here, but I can get in there too, so we'll do that before they lock out the doors. These are definitely old units. They still make those though, the Unican systems. So playing Spanish TV, that's kind of interesting, but you can see here they've got weight machines, looks like legs and arms, stair stepper, treadmill, typical mirrors, towels and water, basically um, a basic uh, fitness center. Pretty nice though, in my opinion. One thing interesting here too is the fact that there's two doors. Not sure where this design came from, but uh, for sure interesting. The men's restroom there, women's, is on the other side, down on the other side of the pool right over there. So the pool closes at 11, but the front desk staff told me I could go in to check it out. So, there's your vending machine. Kind of interesting to see one of those in the pool area, actually. All right, so there's the other vending machine, Pepsi, two different brands. Kind of interesting here, this is carpet. Not sure where the design came from. I uh, would actually probably prefer that over tile, though. Less of a slip hazard. And uh, dry your feet quicker. So yeah, there's your pool, basically. There's a hot tub over here, too, and nice big windows. During the day, it actually has a pretty nice view. So there's the hot tub. Hot tub is three feet deep. The pool seems to go down. It's hard to see the sign, but up to six feet deep. Pretty nice. So if you go over here outside, this is a parking lot. Just parking area. We got a lot of seating out there. This is an exit door. You can go out but not get back in this one. So we'll go head out to the next area. I hope this video is coming out well. I don't have much time to do this and this is a huge facility. So if we go this way kind of a very, 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 very long hallway. But I'm going to turn right at a certain point because there are interesting things off to a hallway on the right. So yeah, there's an exit there. But if we turn this way, then we can go see a couple of things down here. Over here is a courtyard, however pay attention to that. 
room keys will not open this door. So if you get stuck out, you're stuck. Although you can go to, they have tons of side doors here, which do work with room keys. There's a water fountain. If you go this way, the restaurant, uh, and this is heading back towards the lobby. I do have to kind of hurry this up here. Can't go in there, but this is where they serve breakfast. It is not free. $2.99 per person. However, I would agree that that is a fairly decent price, actually, considering most professional restaurants charge a lot more, and they typically charge per item. The lounge here is a little dark, and they're playing some music over here. I don't want to get that on my video. Copyright strikes are not a fun thing to have. So eventually, if we keep going, we come into the conference center area. This is all, I would assume, renovated. But this is the conference area over here. This is definitely a very nice conference center. So this one is just a small conference room. Typical empty room which can be, it can have chairs added to it. Such things like that. And the conference rooms go all the way down. Out here this goes out to the courtyard. This door is locked so I'm gonna have to have a key to get back in a different door. So out here, this is a courtyard. Hello. So there's an entrance. These entrances are all keyed off. No re-entry through these doors. So we're gonna have to go around to the far entrances. Thank you. Looks like we're not gonna have to go around. Yeah, got here just in time. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, you too. All right, so yeah, on the far side of the hotel and courtyard here is the laundry room. It's a fairly average price, 150 for laundry. I believe there are, I think this is a washer too. Um, we'll check. No, this is a dryer. These are washers. Very nice. Very clean for older Maytag equipment. A lot of that is Maytag is typically pretty dirty equipment for uh, most of the time because it's kind of hard to maintain. But those are pretty nice. Uh, vending machine here and a nice machine. This isn't the only one I've seen on the first floor. Um, works for sure. I, they probably have them and I just haven't really paid any attention to them. So while we're out over on this side, I will demonstrate one of these electronic locks. These do work entirely. Um, a lot of hotels I've been staying in lately haven't had electronic locks and it's been kind of annoying actually. So, so yeah, the door is locked and if we get out my swipe card here, direction, then I can enter. Got to get that door closed. So there's a staircase right there. I think that door closed. Yeah, that door closed. So if we come back this way, I believe I have gotten to everything on all of the floors, or on all of the amenity side of things. If I've missed anything, I will make sure to go look at it. But I am going to teleport over there because walking is going to take a very long time. All right, so now we've teleported over here, back to the pool area again. At this time, the pool is locked. He left it open for me, the desk manager, for me to get a tour of it. So if we come over, Far enough down the hallway as I clumsily walk towards my room, at least so it looks that way on the camera, unfortunately. I'm trying to fit this all in in a decent amount of time. I don't want to take too long. Oh, so here's the other ice machine and vending machine. I must not have noticed it. So they do have them on the first floor. My bad. Let's see here. I'm going to clean the screen quick or the lens. Alright, so I hope that did a little bit. Let's see here. Can I focus?
focus in on that exit sign. Nah, kind of. It's not too bad. My camera's a little dull, but here's my room. 321.